We now learn how to find the equation of a parabola using the coordinates of its vertex. Now when we say vertex, we're referring to either a minimum or a maximum point on the parabola's length. Looking at the parabola we see here, this parabola's vertex is a minimum point. Now, say we're asked to find this parabola's equation. Well, making a note of the coordinates of its vertex, those are 1, 3, we can find its equation in the following way. Let me start by moving this parabola to the side, like so, and now we can get started. Since we know this is a parabola, it has an equation that can be written y equals to a times x squared plus bx plus c. And we also know that this parabola's vertex has coordinates 1 and 3. So let me just write that down. The vertex has coordinates 1, 3. Using these coordinates, we can rewrite this parabola's equation in the following way. y equals to a times, in parentheses, x minus 1, close parentheses, squared, plus 3 where the one that's being subtracted in the parentheses corresponds to the x-coordinate of the vertex, and the 3 that's being added at the end here corresponds to the y-coordinate of the vertex. And in fact, I'll go ahead and box this first result. Rewriting this parabola's equation using the coordinates of its vertex is known as writing the parabola in its vertex form. And doing this means that all we have to find for this parabola's equation is the value of this coefficient, a. And to find a, all we'll need are the coordinates of one other point through which the parabola passes. Looking at this graph we're given, we can see that we're given the y value at which the parabola cuts the y-axis. In other words, we're given this curve's y-intercept and its coordinates are 0, 5. Remember, the x-coordinate of the y-intercept will always equal to 0. Now, the fact that the parabola passes through this point with coordinate 0, 5 allows us to state the following. When x equals to 0, y must equal to 5. And so to find the value of a, we start by replacing x by 0, and y by 5, which would look like this. 5 equals to a times, in parentheses, 0 minus 1 squared plus 3. That's 5 equals to a times negative 1 in parentheses squared plus 3. And since negative 1 in parentheses squared equals to 1, that turns into 5 equals to a times 1 plus 3. A times 1 is A, so we have 5 equals to A plus 3. We now subtract 3 from each side of this equation, which leads to 5 minus 3 equals to A. In other words, 2 equals to A, or simply A equals to 2. And we now know the value of the coefficient A. So combining this value of A along with the vertex form we have written at the top here, we can state that this parabola's equation can be written y equals to 2 times, in parentheses, x minus 1 squared plus 3. And that's the vertex form of this parabola's equation. Now, in a quiz or an exam, we may be asked to write this parabola's equation in the form y equals to ax squared plus bx plus c. If that's the case, all we have to do is expand these parentheses and simplify as much as possible. And here's how to do that. We can state that this equals to 2 times, in parentheses, x squared minus 2x plus 1, plus 3 at the end. And now we distribute this 2 across the parentheses, which leads to 2x squared minus 4x plus 2 plus 3 at the end. Finally, simplifying as much as possible, we can state that this parabola's equation is y equals to 2x squared minus 4x plus 5. And that's the final answer. 
we've just found this parabola's equation using the coordinates of its vertex as well as the coordinates of its y-intercept. Okay, we're going to work through another example, but before doing so, let's spend a minute or two to quickly summarize the method we've just used. To do that, say we have some generic parabola, something looking like this. We'd have a generic x and y grid, and a parabola. Say we need to find this parabola's equation. Well, since it's a parabola, we know that it has an equation that can be written y equals to ax squared plus bx plus c. But if we know the coordinates of its vertex, which in this case would be a minimum point with, say, coordinates h and k, then the parabola's equation can be rewritten in the following form. y equals to a times, in parentheses, x minus h, all of which is squared, plus k, where the h, which is being subtracted inside these parentheses, is the x-coordinate of the vertex, and the k that's being added at the end here is the y-coordinate of the vertex. Writing the parabola's equation in this way is known as writing it in vertex form, and we'll be able to do this with any parabola so long as we know the coordinates of its vertex, which, remember, can be either a minimum or a maximum point. Once this is done, all we'll need to find is the value of the coefficient a, and to do that, all we need are the coordinates of one other point that the parabola passes through. And in this tutorial, that point will be the y-intercept, and that's the point at which the parabola cuts the y-axis. Okay, now that we've briefly summarized the method that we're using here, let's look at another example. Say we're given the parabola that we see here, and once more, we need to find its equation. Well, we can see that we know the coordinates of its vertex, which in this case is a maximum with coordinates 2, 3, and we can also see that we know the value of y at which the parabola cuts the y-axis. So, we can use the method we've just seen. And to do that, I'll start by moving this curve to the side, like so, and now we can get started. We know this is a parabola, so it has an equation that can be written y equals to ax squared plus bx plus c. But since we know that its vertex has coordinates 2, 3, that's vertex with coordinates 2 and 3, we know we can rewrite this parabola's equation in the following way. y equals to a times, in parentheses, x minus 2 squared plus 3, where the 2 that's being subtracted in the parentheses is the x-coordinate of the vertex, and the 3 that's being added at the end is the y-coordinate of the vertex. Now, all we need to find is the value of this coefficient, a, and to do that, we need the coordinates of one other point through which the parabola passes. Looking at the graph, we quickly see that the other point that we know of is the value of y at which the parabola cuts the y-axis. In other words, we have the y-intercept, and its coordinates are 0, negative 9. Since the parabola passes through this point, we can state when x equals to 0, y must equal to negative 9. So to find the value of this coefficient a, we replace x by 0 and y by negative 9 which looks like this. Negative 9 equals to a times, in parentheses, 0 minus 2, which is squared, plus 3. That's negative 9 equals to a times negative 2 in parentheses squared, plus 3. And since negative 2 in parentheses squared is 4, that leads to negative 9 equals to a times 4, plus 3. We now subtract 3 from each side of this equation, which leads to negative 9 minus 3 equals to a times 4. And since negative 9 minus 3 is negative 12, that's negative 12 equals to a times 4. Finally, we divide both sides of this equation by 4, leading to negative 12 over 4 equals to a. 
Since negative 12 divided by 4 is negative 3, we have negative 3 equals to a, or simply a equals to negative 3. And we now know the value of the coefficient a. So combining this value of a along with the vertex form we have at the top here, we can state that this parabola's equation can be written y equals to negative 3 times x minus 2 squared plus 3. And that's the vertex form of this parabola's equation. Now if we're asked to find this parabola's equation in the form y equals to ax squared plus bx plus c, then we expand these parentheses we see here in the vertex form and simplify as much as possible, which would look like this. This equals to negative 3 times, in parentheses, x squared minus 4x plus 4 plus 3. And now distributing this negative 3 across the parentheses leads to negative 3x squared plus 12x minus 12 plus 3. Finally, simplifying as much as possible, we find that this parabola's equation is y equals to negative 3x squared plus 12x minus 9. And that's the final answer. We've just found this parabola's equation using the coordinates of its vertex alongside its y-intercept. And that's it for this tutorial. In our next tutorial, we'll see how to find the equation of a parabola given its vertex, but rather than being given its y-intercept, we'll be given the coordinates of some other point on the parabola. For now though, I really hope this helped, and if it did, please hit like on this video and even subscribe to our channel, because that really does help us. I'll see you soon.